vast multiverse. If you've ever dreamed of uncovering the answers to the biggest questions about the vast and mysterious universe, there's only one telescope worthy of being the successor to the James Webb. A really crazy machine considered as the most ambitious, most complex, most expensive, and most revolutionary. It's called the Large UV Optical Infrared Surveyor, or Louvoir. Now what are we waiting for? Let's begin today's content. Let's begin by taking a look three decades ago to better understand how people step by step wrapped their minds around the mystique of space. NASA's Hubble for the past 32 years has truly showcased for us what a cutting edge space based observatory is capable of. In many ways, Hubble represents the greatest astronomical endeavor ever undertaken by our civilization, but it's also fundamentally limited. Hubble can't observe at wavelengths longer than about 2 microns because it gets heated by the sun. The inside of Hubble is too warm to observe at mid and far infrared wavelengths. Hubble's other major limitation is its narrow field of view. Hubble can only see an estimated 10% of the galaxies that are out there. Most of them are some combination of too small and too faint. The James Webb, however, which is larger, cooler, and can work with much longer wavelengths than Hubble, has launched to space on the 25th of December in 2021, and it marked an important step forward in the human exploration of the universe. It will reveal an enormous suite of science details that Hubble cannot. From the earliest stars and farthest galaxies to details about planet formation and the atmospheric composition of the closest Earth-like planets, the reason is, it can observe wavelengths out to around 30 microns. With its enormous sunshade, its onboard active coolant, James Webb will surpass Hubble on many fronts. However, even with Webb, most of the galaxies in the universe will remain elusive. That is to say, most of the galaxies that we do see will still, unfortunately, simply be a few pixels across, with barely any discernible structure. And perhaps most importantly, they won't have the ultimate capabilities of a space-based observatory. The ability to directly image Earth-sized planets around sun-like stars, and to identify which ones might not only have signatures for life, but might actually be inhabited. There is one telescope designed to fulfill all of NASA's plans for the top astrophysics missions in the 2030s, and that's the Louvoir. The Louvoir study team has produced designs for two variants, one with a 15.1 meter diameter telescope mirror, which is Louvoir A, and one with an 8 meter diameter mirror, Louvoir B. Louvoir would be able to observe ultraviolet, visible, and near-infrared wavelengths of light. Lavoir A, previously known as the High Definition Space Telescope or HDST, is composed of 36 mirror segments with an aperture of 15.1 meters or 50 feet in diameter. That means it is six times larger than the Hubble Space Telescope's mirror and twice the size of the 6.5 meter Webb Telescope. It will also offer images up to 24 times sharper than the Hubble. Lavoir A folds so it only needs an 8 meter wide payload fairing. Louvoir B, previously known as the Advanced Technology Large Aperture Space Telescope, or ATLAST, is an 8 meter structure. While smaller than Louvoir A, it's being designed to produce an angular resolution that is 5 to 10 times better than the James Webb, and a sensitivity limit that is up to 2,000 times better than Hubble. The current Louvoir B architecture adopts James Webb design heritage, essentially being an incrementally large variant of the James Webb which has a 6.5 meter segmented main mirror. In one significant way, Louvoir is a throwback to Hubble, while NASA's largest space observatory at the moment James Webb sees primarily in the infrared. Louvoir, however, will be sensitive in a broader range of wavelengths, from ultraviolet and visible light to near-infrared. That allows it to see the spectral fingerprints of a wide array of molecules that could suggest biological processes at work in a distant world. As for expenses, while Webb has cost NASA a whopping $10 billion, with Louvoir it's even doubled. Lifetime cost estimates of $18 billion to $24 billion for Louvoir A and $12 billion to $18 billion for Louvoir B. 
If James Webb was launched by an Ariane 5 rocket, Bouvoir A is designed for a launch on NASA's planned Space Launch System, or SLS, while Architecture B is being designed to launch on a heavy lift vehicle with a 5 meter diameter fairing similar to those in use today. With a proposed launch date in the mid 2030s, this observatory includes upgradable state-of-the-art instruments and would reside at Earth-Sun Lagrange 2 point like James Webb. Of course, it all sounds really impressive, but the most remarkable thing here is that it'll help humanity solve the hidden mysteries of the universe that we still hold today. First, if scientists really want to find out if life exists on distant Earth-like planets, they'll eventually need Louvoir. Scientists believe that the deluxe version of the observatory could identify and study 54 potentially Earth-like planets over a five-year observing period, along with hundreds of other larger planets. With Louvoir, scientists will be able to read the contents of exoplanet atmospheres as never before with the extreme coronagraph for living planetary systems which will be able to detect compounds such as oxygen, ozone, water, vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane, which are all crucial components for the existence of life on those worlds. Secondly, with its size, optical capabilities, and novel instrumentation, Louvoir will reveal almost all the objects that Hubble and Webb will overlook. Reason being is that it can discover objects 40 times fainter than we can presently see. A huge mirror and broad range of wavelengths will help it study everything from distant galaxies to objects in our own solar system. For example, Louvoir would see Jupiter with nearly the same detail as cameras on board the Juno spacecraft currently in orbit around that planet. It'll find, measure, and characterize individual stars fainter and farther away than ever before, including an unprecedented number of galaxies over a billion light years away. If you're looking for objects that are faint, far away, small, or otherwise difficult to characterize, Louvoir will not only find it, if you know where to look, but it can tell you far more about its details than any other tool, even the James Webb. And finally, Louvoir answers the question of, what does a galaxy in the universe look like? For a galaxy the size of the Milky Way, no matter how distant it is from us, Louvoir would show it as at least 400 pixels across, containing over 120,000 pixels of useful, luminous information in every frame. We could learn how each galaxy we measure rotates, which regions in every galaxy are actively forming stars, what satellite and dwarf galaxies are doing out to billions of light years, and so much more. From objects within our solar system to exoplanets, stars, galaxies, and the largest cosmic structures of all, Louvoir would answer the biggest questions we have about our universe. And that's all the information we have for you today. If you enjoy what my team and I are doing and would like to continue supporting us in a huge way, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Everyone's support motivates us to continue delivering quality content and to always improve. And as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.